It is Memorial Day weekend 2024 and I am back here in Del Webb Lake Providence, this amazing 55 and over community here in Mount Juliet, Tennessee, just outside of Nashville. And whether you're new to the channel or you've been watching for quite some time and have been keeping tabs on the local housing market here, stick around because I'm going to tell you about an interesting situation that we are about to have when it comes to opportunities for sales of homes in this neighborhood as well as one that is not listed on the MLS that I'm sure some of you are going to want to hear about. Well, welcome back to the channel. And for those of you that this is your first time stopping by, thank you so much for checking out the channel. My name is Andy, and no, I am not employed by Dell Webb nor Pulte, the builder of the Dell Webb homes, but I wanted to give you a market update here in Dell Webb Lake Providence in particular. Some of you already know, and some of you just looking into Middle Tennessee as an option for retirement communities for the first time. This may be news to you. Here in Del Webb Lake Providence, it is pretty rare to have multiple houses on the market for any length of time. Right now, for example, as a contrast, if you look at the Southern Springs neighborhood down in Spring Hill, Tennessee, it's about 50 minutes, give or take, south of here. There are currently 10 active home listings there in Del Webb Southern Springs with one additional one coming soon. Here in Del Webb Lake Providence, even though there are a comparable number of homes in the overall neighborhood, there are currently only two active listings on the MLS with one additional house coming soon on the market. But in this video, I wanna tell you about two others, one that's gonna be hitting the MLS any day now, and another one that's about a month out, but I know there are some of you that are certainly gonna to wanna to hear about this opportunity especially before it actually hits the market. So stick around for the details on that house. It's pretty special. But I wanted to let you know that I see a bit of a milestone on the horizon here. If these two houses continue to be actively listed for the next few days, for the first time in a long time, it appears that we're gonna have one of all four series of the homes here in Del Webb Lake Providence all available at the same time. That has not happened for quite a while. Some of you that have already watched videos like this may already know. For those of you that are new to the neighborhood, I'll give you a quick rundown. There are four different series of homes in this Del Webb neighborhood. You can find one or more of these series of homes in other Del Webb communities across the country, but in this particular neighborhood, You've got the Villa series, which are your townhomes, zero lot line units, whatever terminology you prefer to use that are physically connected to one another. So the Villa homes right now, there is currently this home on Old Town Drive that is only one of 19 houses that faces the lake. Now with these homes that are listed, there's a a quirky characteristic, we'll say, of each one of them. If you want some details on that, feel free to reach out to me. You can text or call me or email me, and I'll elaborate about what I know about each of these homes. But you've got this villa home that's currently listed for $449, faces the lake here in Lake Providence, and the villa homes run up to about 1,500 square feet maximum. This particular villa home is one of the smallest floor plans, 1,237 square feet. But moving up in size, from the villa homes, you've then got the Franklin series of homes. And this is one that's not on the MLS. By the time I'm done shooting this video, it might hit the MLS. They range from about 1,300 square feet up to about 1,600 square feet, depending on the floor plan and the options. And that one is not on the MLS, but it will be any day now. And that's a pretty special property because it's one of the model homes in the neighborhood. It is directly across the street from this beautiful clubhouse. Come on. 
It's a pretty special home. It was one of the model homes in the neighborhood. The models that folks were able to walk through when they were picking out their homes up to about 16, 17 years ago. That is the gray mist floor plan, roughly 1,400 square feet, and that one's gonna be listed for $475,000. Then moving up in size, we've got this home that hit the market recently that is a Surrey Crest home. This is in the Hermitage series of homes here in the neighborhood, and the Hermitage series range in size from the high 1,500 square feet up to about 2,000 square feet. So the majority of these homes are somewhere within 17, 18, 1900 square feet. However, there are also homes like this one that have an upstairs. In the neighborhood, they were marketed as a loft. This is one of those homes in the Hermitage series that has an upstairs, which is great when you've got uh, family or friends coming to visit you. And I always tell prospective buyers for this neighborhood, your family and friends will come to visit you because you are essentially living in a vacation resort. So they will find you and they will ask if they can come stay with you on their trip to Nashville. So this house on Bastion Circle is about 2,700 square feet and the asking price on it is $755,000. Again, some quirky things about this house that I'll be happy to discuss with you one-on-one. -on -one. Feel free to text me or email about this one on Bastion Circle, but it is the Hermitage series. Moving up in size, so now we've got the Villa series covered, the Franklin series coming soon, the Hermitage series on the market at the moment, and another one that is coming soon is in the larger series of homes in the neighborhood called the Centennial series. So moving up in size, the next house coming on the market in just a couple days is in the Centennial series, which is the largest series of homes in the neighborhood. And this one is the Cumberland floor plan. Three bedrooms, two and a half baths, hitting the market as active in just a couple days. And the asking price on this home is $809,000. Now, having said all that, that means there's the potential at one time of all four series being actively listed on the MLS at the same time. But I also wanted to tell you about a house that I'm getting ready to list right now that's also in the larger Centennial series of homes. Beautiful house, lots of upgrades on a cul-de-sac with this amazing view out back. getting ready to list this house, but just know that the seller is completely open to talking about showing and getting offers on this house before it hits the MLS. So if you or someone you know is the least bit interested in a house this size with lots of upgrades at the end of a cul-de-sac on a very desirable lot that's larger than most in the neighborhood, beautifully landscaped, backs up to mature trees with no neighbors behind you, with three bedrooms, three full bathrooms, plus an office at just under 2,700 square feet with a finished Florida room or sunroom that has its own split unit AC and heat with this amazing hardscaped private patio out back with a sun setter retractable awning. The seller is asking $820,000 for this house, 2,670 square feet, again three bedrooms, three full bathrooms, plus an office with double glass doors right off the foyer. This is the popular Dunwoody plan. So this house is gonna be hitting the market possibly sometime by the end of June, but again, if you have any interest or would like some more details on this home, reach out to me at the number below. You can text me, call me, or email me at andy at andyluskhomes.com. We've got the Memorial Day celebration coming up in just a couple days, and I'm gonna catch you up in future videos with some other fun activities that have been happening here in the neighborhood that I've had the honor of being a part of. The Cinco de Mayo celebration. We had karaoke night about a month ago. And coming up next month in June, an exciting event is gonna be happening. I have the privilege of sponsoring a tennis tournament between Del Webb Lake Providence here in Mount Juliet and Del Webb Southern Springs. 
in Spring Hill. Some tennis players down in Southern Springs in Spring Hill are coming up to Lake Providence here in Mount Juliet for a tennis tournament on the 1st of June. So be on the lookout for a video with a recap of how that goes. I'm looking forward to being a part of that event. Thank you so much for checking out the channel. I really appreciate you stopping by. I hope you learned something. I look forward to talking to you soon. God bless. Bye-bye. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Eee!